So now we're going to look at some of the risks with DNS prefetching that a lot of browsers use and how we can disable this using a HTTP header. So DNS prefetching is basically when um, a user visits a page and it has a bunch of links and images or whatever. It, um, especially let's talk about links because images are actually used, but um, links they might not necessarily click on. But what happens is the browser will already look at those links and then fetch the IP addresses of those because it thinks that the user might be clicking on them later. And what this does is when they click on it, the IP address is already known to the browser so they can be connected quickly without them having to look it up using a DNS service, which is basically like a database that resolves like um, domain names like this into actual IP addresses that browsers can access. So the advantage of DNS prefetching is speed because it can just predict a user's behavior and basically deliver the content they need much quicker. But there's a few issues that can happen with DNS services, DNS prefetching, sorry. The first thing is the fact that if you have a website that's visited by a lot of people, um, the DNS service will basically be overused because the browser keeps fetching all of these links, even all of these IP addresses for these links even if the user isn't intending on visiting those pages. Another one is um, a privacy issue. So um, this is a very, very um, unrealistic context, but for example, if our page gets compromised and hackers have the ability to edit our pages, and what they can do is place some invisible links to these unique locations on each of our pages. So let's say if we had a profile page, they placed a unique link to um, their domain slash profile. And if we had, um, let's say, a user settings page, they pr place an invisible link to their domain and then the um, user settings page on their domain. What, they, what will happen is when a user on our website visits our profile page or our user settings page, the browser will make a DNS request for the, the, pro the associated pages on their um, malicious domain. And what they can do is they can basically look at the DNS um, requests for those domains and they can say that if there was a request made to access their um, profile page, I guess, or their profile domain or whatever domain they uniquely associated with our profile page, they can know that our user is on our profile page indirectly. Um, again, this is a very rare scenario and in a real life context, you could probably do this easier by placing some images or something like that. Um, it's just an example that I found on this really old website. And the third problem you can have is um, your page statistics might be wrong because um, if the IP addresses for all of these links are fetched, um, it might look like the user has clicked the link or not. But remember that the IP addresses are fetched regardless of whether they click the link or not. So it might appear to be visited even if they haven't actually visited it. And um, if you have high security needs, um, this isn't an ideal thing, but if you have high security needs, you can disable this DNS prefetching altogether. And it comes at the cost of a performance and penalty like we discussed. So that's what we're going to do. And the way that you disable DNS prefetching is that you set up this um, head header right here and it's called x slash DNS prefetch control. And you can set this to off, which basically disables the DNS prefetching. So what we need to do is, the first thing we have to do is for this challenge, we have to downgrade again to Helmet 2.3.0. Um, you'll remember in the last challenge, we um, upgraded to 3.2.0, but this time we have to downgrade again. So we wanna do NPM uninstall Helmet first, and that will delete uh, version 3.2.0 or whatever version that um, we're using right now, 3.2.3.0, that's, that's the one right here. So we'll downgrade that. And then what we want to do is we want to do npm install helmet and we want to install version 2.3.0 here. Like this. And that will go ahead and install the older version. Oops, that should be 2.3.0 like this. And that will install the old version. Again, it's to do with the way these tests are marked um, in, and they change some of the method names. But in the future, this will probably be fixed. And you wanna also run refresh to apply these changes and restart our app in here. And you should notice now that um, Helmet 2.3.0 has been installed so we can get started. And the way we set up this um, header, this um, DNS prefetch control header is um, we wanna do this for all routes. So once again, we're gonna do this in with app.use, which will mount it for all requests. And 
we can call the helmet method called the helmet.dns prefetch control. And this basically sets this header to off to disable DNS prefetching. So if we save that now, and I'm just going to go ahead and restart the app by running refresh in the terminal. Um, what we can do is that's everything we need. So we can just copy this and then paste it into here. And you'll see that it passes. And um, if we just have a look at the um, network tab, um, hopefully you would be able to see that um, if we click on this XDNS prefetch control, this header right here has been switched to off. So this will tell Chrome not to fetch the IP addresses of any links or resources on our page. And this potentially can make it more secure at the cost of performance. So you can go ahead and submit that.